In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, today it is Monday, and today it is a very important day for moms and dads in the countries where examination is being done. Today we pray for class eight. Today they start their first papers. These children have been in school for about not less than 11 years. And now they have come to the end of their journey in primary level to transit to high school, God willing, by the month of May. Even if we cannot do anything else, we can dedicate this day to pray for these children. I have my girls here whom I preach to, and many other children across the country, I have visited quite a good number of them. Good number of them. Uh, I have visited uh, class eight, about 50 schools for the last few weeks. And I know some of them are anxious. And today I can also tell you, some of them have no moms to pray for, for them. Some of them have no dads to pray for them. You could be the mother who will stand in the gap, even if you don't have a child in school. You could be the dad that will stand in the gap, even if you do not have a school-going child. Why is it important that we pray for candidates? We don't pray for them because they have not been taught. We don't pray for them because we want to fix something. Prayers cannot fix a grade of a student who never prepared. It is as simple as that. And I tell you that as a man who is in education for many years. But prayers give our children the inner tranquility that they so badly need this time. There is nothing as good as a child going to school and knowing that uh, today uh, I feel good. Today, very early in the morning, I blessed some children who are going for the exam. Class 8, very early, extremely early. And I remember a girl who told me, Father, now I feel so conf confident. I know mommy is praying for me, daddy is praying for me, and uh, before I blessed her, the daddy prayed for her. And she told me that, Father, I feel good. That daddy, daddy has, has prayed for me, and Father, you have blessed me. That is what I'm talking about, dear good people. I am talking about that, standing in the gap. There comes a time that we cannot pray for ourselves. These, our children, are not as spiritually deep as we are. So the best that we can is to make sure that... Um, we help them in our prayers, we stand in the gap, and we ask God to be able to help them to go through the motions of life uh, for the next three days for the class eight, and for the next actually one month for our Form 4 candidates. Because uh, from the first day of um, this month, they started their, their practicals. And they go through this motion up until the first day of April. So it is a whole month that they have been in exam uh, atmosphere. Let us pray for them. The other reason why I want us to pray for these children, some of them come from very broken families. And if you didn't know, the quality of the families that produce our children affect the way they perform. There's a girl who told me, uh, one day I went to see, to see them in their school, just to sit and listen to them. So she told me that, Father, I know I am capable of doing good, but my dad has never given me a chance to be who I am. Because he does this and this and this and this. Yet, he expects me to do well in school. That's a girl who feels that uh, the atmosphere at home is quite toxic. Dear good people, Thank God that you are able to pray for your son or daughter before they go for the exam. There are families that will not do that. 
not because they do not know God, but because the bottles they have emotionally and physically can't give them a chance to pray for their children. Because of that, stand in the gap. Because of that, stand in the gap. The other reason I want to pray for them is uh, the grace of remembrance. The grace of remembrance. Some of them are very good intellectually, but the memory span is a bit limited. Pray for them to remember what it is that they have been taught. The other reason that I want to pray for these children is because some of them have recurring ailments perennially. And remember, anxiety triggers our conditions. So you may find that uh, maybe your child has all along has had a condition. He, he isn't or she isn't epileptic, but once in a long while, they can get some conversions. Because of anxiety, anxiety can trigger that. I remember a long time ago when I was a young priest, I was, uh, I was teaching a student uh, in journalism who was um, epileptic, though it would not happen all the time. But I can tell you, every time during the exam, that boy would have attacks. And I would, and I would understand. So I, I would prepare him. Before the exam, I would personally journey with him. The night before the exam, we have a sitting in my office. We talk about it. We talk about the exams. What are your expectations? All of these things. And we would talk and talk and talk. And the boy would later go and do the exam. It's unfortunate that he later died. May he rest in peace. But... Uh, I want to confirm to you that exam can trigger some conditions that our children has. Please let us pray for them. So that even those who have those conditions are not, the conditions are not worsened by this exam. The other reason why I want us to pray for them is for peace, general peace in the exam room. Generally, we just pray for them. And finally, as we pray for them, we do a prayer of thanksgiving. Some of you will not remember to say thank you. I try to train them to say thank you to their teachers, to do, even to write a, a, an exam card to their teachers, which they actually do. Your prayer, let it also be a prayer of thanksgiving to your children. Our dear sons and daughters, we are praying for you and we are wishing you well. Our dear teachers who have journeyed with our sons and daughters, we thank you. May God bless you. Please, let's do this journey together. Those of you who had their candidates in class 8, remember your son or daughter is still in school. That is why we shall continue with this novena until the first day of April. Let's keep on praying for them. I'll be guiding you on the subjects being taken on a daily basis. Those of you who visit my, my Facebook page, be checking on my Facebook page the papers of that day. I will always try to make sure that uh, apart from the prayers of the day, also the, the papers that are being done on that day. Please, let's do this together. We pray for them and we journey together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Do have a productive Monday. Thank you.